Hello everybody, welcome back to Valley of the Mist Block of the Month. I'm Adrienne Ritter. And I'm Shelley McNeely. And we are here with our November 2020 Block of the Month. Um, so, Shelley, tell them what fabrics, oh wait, but first, and we say this every month, <laughs> and we, we mean it every month. Get the instructions from the Valley of the Mist website. Right. Especially this month, because even though this looks like a simple block, um, you are going to need the measurements, and it'll be confusing without them. Right. So, what fabrics do we need? Okay. Just the fabrics. For this block, obviously. Okay. We're going to need a coordinating fabric, focus fabric, which is in the from In the Beginnings, Western Washington Shop Hop, and then we're going to need a white and a black. And we and we forget to say this, but by the coordinating fabric, it's coordinating with the focus fabric. Right. So you're looking at the focus fabric and picking out a fabric that matches that color. And now this focus fabric that we said, that's the one we're using for 2020. For you, um, if you're not turning in blocks for the Valley of the Mist Quilt Guild's drawing, then you can use any focus fabric you like for the year, okay? And and um, to be honest, you know, black is what goes with this. So we kind of alternate between different years, black and gray. Right. But, you know, if your focus fabric is more of a gray fabric, you know, just, just keep that in mind. Okay, so, so now, now here is the reason why we really want you <laughs> to get the instructions from the website because we have this basic simple block um, that that I designed I just made up but but there's actually a different version I think we mentioned last month that we couldn't decide which version to make so we decided we're gonna let them choose they can make either so so there's it's it's basically the same block so our finish size of our blocks is always 12 and a half inch square so so Shelly today is making this block. Right, the one block. The one block that ends up 12 and a half inch square. And I am going to be making the smaller version that you make four of, that the individual small squares end up to six and a half ish inch square. <laughs> uh, and, um, and then you sew the four together. So, so when you're watching the video today, if we're talking about a size, we are going to limit ourselves. Adrian's <laughs> not going to talk so much. Shelly will talk about the big block. I will talk about the sizes for the small block that you need four of. Okay? So. All right. So what do we need, Shelly? Okay. Okay. When you do this, you're going to need focus. All right, which what you can cut a piece that's one inch. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, one inch by 14 inches. And then you're going to be cutting it into two pieces that are six and a half by seven and three fourths. We'll talk about that business in a minute. But if you don't have a piece that's 14 inches long, you can cut two pieces. One is six and a quarter inches long, and the other is seven and three quarter inches long. And then with the white, the same length, 14 inches, cut in two if you don't have 14 inches, and that's going to be one and a half inches wide. Then we're also going to need uh, more white, and that white is two inches by seven inches. 17. I'm sorry, 17 inches, and those pieces will be cut into nine and a quarter by seven and, or se and seven and three quarters. Mm -hmm. And then there's black and you're going to need four strips of black. Two of those will be two and a quarter by nine and a quarter and two will be two and a quarter by twelve and three quarters. Okay, so I that's what we're saying. It, it's a lot of measurements. Right. And and um, and we, we probably in the instructions I'm going to write out the total length for each of these. But because we're getting near the end of the year and you might have small pieces, so we want you to know that most of these don't, other than your, your big center piece, they don't have to be 
you know, a long piece. You can have shorter pieces that work. And, and before I tell you the sizes for the small block, I'm, I'm going to mention this, that the first step we're going to have you do is you're going to take your focus fabric and your thinner white piece and you're going to sew them together and basically you're making a strip that's the same width as as the, the wider white right. fabric. Okay, so, yeah. so her wider white fabric is how big? Uh, the, the widest white is two inches. Two inches. And this and is... Then, and so you're going to sew together these two and when they're... and because you lose a half inch by, by that um, seam, you're going to end up with a two inch piece of this together, okay? And so, so mine, I've actually already sewn them together because when I made this block, I had enough and I just, I just sewed a long strip of them together. So, so for the, for the small four blocks, the focus fabric, I, I'm giving you, if you just have very small pieces of focus fabric, you can do that with this block because if your piece a focus fabric is only three quarter inches wide. You can use that. Um, so I'm going to tell you the sizes. Assuming you have a piece of focus fabric that's somewhere between three quarter inches and one inches wide, and and then you need a piece of white to go next to it that is one and a quarter inches wide. And when you sew those two together, I want you, and we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, I'll, I'll skip that right now. But you're going to sew those two together. And then the other piece of white you want is one and a half inches wide. And the total length of that is 36 inches. But basically from that, you're going to cut four pieces that are four inches long and four pieces that are five inches long. And on, on this white, I'm going to tell you how to sub cut that in a second. And um, the coordinating fabric for this one, you need four three inch squares. And on the black, you're going to need, um, it's 96 inches that are one and a half inches wide. And you're going to have eight pieces that are five inches long and eight pieces that are seven inches long. Okay, so like I said, refer back to the instructions for these total diameter, total measurements. Um, so, so back to our first step. You're going to, you're going to sew together um, your white and your focus fabric, the, the, the thinner of your white strips to your focus fabric. And obviously it's easier if you do it in one long thing, but, but you don't have to. And um, I actually, from my, when I made to my first one, I had some extra little pieces and I saved them um, knowing that I could use them for these, because between the two pieces, one of them is shorter. And, and so I have some of those. After you sew, whether you're doing the big block or the little block, your, your piece needs to be the same width of the, the two sewn together as your wider piece of white fabric. So sew them together and then get out your ruler and trim off the extra white to make them the right width. So if you have, even on the big block, if you have a piece that's not totally straight or your sewing isn't totally straight, whatever, just keep the focus fabric part and, and trim down the white. Right. And um, on my block, my piece really was kind of, um, kind of a little had a slant to it. It was wider at one end than the other. It was closer to the one inch wide at one end and closer to the three quarter inch wide at the other. So my piece is kind of vary in size a little bit. And, and I like that. So. Yeah. Um, okay, so. How do we sew it? Yeah, so, so our first step, um, and, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, if you are, if you're rushed or you're whatever, that block goes together so fast. The big the one. The big one. The little one, because you're making four of them, and and they and because everything is a little smaller, they can be a little futzy, um, they do take a little longer. Okay, so, so. Remember, you only have to do one or the other. One or the other, yeah. I, I um, really like, uh, the, the 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 look of this one but um i plan on making one of each for myself right. so it's Me almost too. like a bonus block for the year mm -hmm. okay so our first step that we're going to do is we're going to um yeah after you fig figure out your fabrics <laughs> um we're going to sew together this um piece of focus fabric and the thinner white and then you are going to 
if you all right the, the dimensions that we gave you the other thing i wanted to mention is for you to cut them to the right length and sew them on not to strip piece them because i i'm not sure if you realize it but strip piecing always takes a little more fabric than sewing the exact size piece on so we have not given you given you enough extra for you to strip piece it it's it's just the right size right so sub cut after you sew them together cut them down to the sizes that we mentioned um i guess we can mention them one more time right shelly after you sew your two pieces together you need two pieces right then one is six and a quarter and the other is seven and three quarters okay and so for my the smaller um four piece block four sub block piece whatever you're going to need you're going to take this and you're going to cut it and you need um yeah i'm cheating and i'm looking at our dimensions otherwise we would forget them i need four pieces that are three inches long and four pieces that are four inches long and that total uh, of the entire thing is 28 inches okay so we're going to do that and then okay we need to talk about where they sew it or is that obvious Shelly, oh, we're just sewing these two together oh that's all that is obvious okay and then that's we're coming all we're back doing. and then we're coming back uh, okay yeah okay yeah okay yeah she thought we were going one more step yeah. but we're not okay. okay all right so we'll be back with these sewn together all right okay so we have our um focus fabric and white pieces and um, here, here you have some choices. It's it's just minor choices. Yes. I mean, throughout yeah. this, the, you you're going to have a few minor choices. Um, so you're going to take two adjacent corners. Any two doesn't matter. It's <laughs> right. <laughs> really as long matter. as they're adjacent. Yeah. And you're going to sew. Um, you're going to put these two pieces on. You're going to take the shorter, like um, for me, it's a three inch piece and sew it to one of the, one of the sides and then press it, press it in. Uh, I would say to your, your coordinating fabric, probably right. uh, it doesn't matter. However you press it, right. um, you could put, press it to the focus and then, um, and then take a second piece and you're going to sew that one to the another to one of the adjacent edges okay same thing focus fabric in um and for for yours you're just that's two pieces you're sewing on right for for the the small block you can do it however you'd like as long as you pick two adjacent sides um if you like it to look symmetrical which a lot of times i do then 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 pick whether to put it on to the right or the left and do that each time, the second right. piece. Right. If you don't care, then just sew it to two adjacent sides. It, it will, it does matter because this one piece kind of, kind of um, sticks, sticks out towards the edge. And if right. you don't sew them in the same order, you can't have it go to the same direction. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, but we don't care which way, like, as you can see, um, Shelly and I actually on this, we did on our same. first on our big block, we did it opposite. Uh, so that's fine. It, it, it doesn't matter. Um, just, right. you know, you decide whether you want it to, if you're doing the one I'm doing, if you want it to um, be symmetrical. Okay, so um, we're gonna sew on those two pieces and then we will be right back. Okay, we are back. Shelly, I am glad <laughs> we aren't videoing when I'm sewing because <laughs> you would see if I look frustrated I, I want to talk take an aside and talk to you if you are struggling with quarter inch seams that I, mean, I, w I was using my quarter inch foot I was using my AccuFeed quarter inch foot and it does not do a quarter inch seam oh, oh, it used to though I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, this is a new foot I just bought a couple months ago for my AccuFeed, and which it, it means it does like a dual feed. Yes. So, so they do, the fabrics don't move, and I use it all the time. But a lot of times when we're sewing these, Shelly, we don't care about a quarter inch seam. You that's know, we true. don't care about, it, and so I think that's what I've been oh, using it on, okay. I, or I didn't care. But, and, and really, right now on this block, we have allowed some extra. So if your quarter inch seam is not accurate, 
Um, that's it's not be a fine. lot of extra. But there's a extra. little. There's extra. a little extra built in. Um, yeah, it should be a <coughs> like a quarter inch too big all around on when yours. When we're done, when you were done. Yeah. On mine, it can be more. The problem with this with this pad this um, small block one is if if things get too big, this center becomes very dark, big, very dark, <laughs> and very big. <coughs> so normally we don't really harp on, you know, what what these sizes should be as right. we go. But with 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 um with the block that Shelley's doing, it. it it kind of all works itself out. Right. But with mine, because we have little tiny pieces that can get magnified if your seam is too little or not big enough if your seam is too big. And um, anyway, so in, in the, during the time we did this, not only did I change my needle, I changed my foot. So hopefully <laughs> we're better. But um, so, so right now we do want to pause in this and say, you don't have to trim your block every time around. Right. But we are going to tell you about what the block should be at each point because, because if it gets too big, while it's fine, you do not have to undo it. You do not have to take your block apart um, because there's ways to fix it all the way along. Mm -hmm. Do not unsew. Unless you did like I did and I sewed it to the back side of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, tell, I was very frustrated. I'm, I went to press it and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is sewn to the back side of the block. <laughs> I did have to undo that. But these little pieces at this point should be about four inches square. And the easy way to remember is that the last piece you added was four inches long and that should have completed the square. And the same with mine, seven and three quarters inches square. Okay, if it's if it's bigger, you can trim it down or just keep that in mind that it, you know, that you maybe are going to have or you need less of something. And, and you know what, to be honest, at this point in the year where you might be running low on, on um, white or black, feel free to vary these widths a little bit, you know, um, to, sure. to, accompl to, to accommodate the pieces that you have. Like if you have a bunch of strips of one and, and you don't have a lot of the other fabric, you know, none of these are gonna be perfectly the same because right. because at the very end when we have you square it up, you, you can square it up how you want and it, it we've allowed for that, so right. don't worry. Uh, I'm not trying to make it more confusing. Anyway, so now we have, we I have four pieces, Shelly has one piece. Now you're gonna take your wider piece of white fabric and you're going to put it on the next two corners. Okay, the, the two corners, the two sides that do not have white fabric on them. Right. Um, start with a shorter one. Yeah, start with a shorter one and, and do that, that side and then do... Right. I mean, they're, they're the same width. So whichever one you do first is the shorter one. Yeah. Right? Yes. So you can't really start with... I mean, oh, the well, pieces. If you have a pieces. cut piece, yeah, the, pieces. Start with, the shorter piece would go on first. Yeah. yeah. We, right. I did okay. it in a round, but... I don't know if it matters if you go. Well, around. yeah, it's kind of around either yeah. way, yeah. you know. Um, I yeah, I think I was thinking, well, if you're going clockwise, keep going clockwise. But for it, these two, it might not matter. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. yeah. And actually, um, now I'll talk about it later. Um, just sew those two edges on, and when we come back, um, we will give you another size measurement. But like I said, it, it's not super important. Main thing um, is now is when you sew these on. You should make sure that the edge you're sewing on, you know, because yeah. you have, it has, you, you've straightened the edge. You can yeah, sew do, it. if you had a little bit hanging off here, you might want to trim that off yeah. uh, on, on either of those, okay? Right. That's probably the most important thing. Right. Okay, so sew on these other two white pieces and we'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Happy days. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my block is going fine. Okay. Fine. All right, so Shelley, your block should be now up. About nine and a quarter inches square. If it's down to nine, then you're you're okay. You're okay, but not less. Yeah. Don't don't, don't be less than nine. Yeah. It, um, well, or or you can or, still or, cut your blacks a little larger if you haven't already cut right. them. So. Or okay. So so um, at this point, take a measurement. 
if if you are less than nine and a quarter, if you're less than nine, then your options are to do a very scant <laughs> quarter inch seam. Oh, super scant. <laughs> or to cut your black strips a little wider. Right. What, how wide are they supposed to be? They are supposed to be, let me look at my list here. <laughs> they are, black is two and a quarter. Okay, so if you're, if you're, if you're less than nine, make them two and a half, right. whatever. Okay, so on, on this little guy, at this point, the way to remember, what, whatever the last piece you sewed on, that's the square size that this should be. So we sewed on five inch pieces last to this. So these should be five inch square. Um, mine has a little bit more, right? a little bit more extra because we're gonna sew on um, an inch and a half uh, size width, which will give us an inch and a, oh well, Five. No, that actually puts us right at right. That's not really... Huh. It should Five. be right. Okay, so apparently on these ones, I didn't allow for any extra. Hmm. It should put you right at six and a half, which four six and a halves will get you to twelve and a half. That's okay. true. If you're up to six and a half, then that's the size... The, the final less. size, the final size after we add the, bl the black will be um, should be at least six and a half. Okay, so I would say at this point, measure and adjust the width of your black accordingly. The, the one and a half inch is like for a quarter inch seam. It should get you at, at that. And then, and, then, and then at the very end, you know, you can still, keep in mind, you can always make minor little adjustments by making your scant quarter inch a little Super scanter. Scant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, and you can do that. I mean, I think that, you know, yeah. in the 1800s when they sewed quilts by hand, if they had very little fabric, they did even smaller seams. Sure. You know, you can do, because cause when you quilt it, when you quilt it down, it holds it in it place. Holds it, in place. It, it, it doesn't have a lot of tension against right. that seam. So. Right. So you can do a, a more a more scant seam. <laughs> so so um, so these ones now. So now our next step is very easy. You are going to take your your you have your black is either a long strip and for mine because you have four blocks that you have to do this to. It sounds really long. It's a 96 inch long is the total length of that black. Um, but it doesn't have to be one piece. I mean, it obviously isn't going to be one piece because what mm -hmm. forty inch is the average yeah, that right. you get out of a right. out of a width of fabric. So you'd need like two and a half strips of the of the full width. Um, anyway, so you're going to sew on first the shorter side, which for me are five inch seam, five inch long. Oh, that's really weird because I'm saying five and seven. Am I allowing these to be seven? One and a half, one and a quarter. That still seems like six and a half to me. All right, well, maybe I've done the calculation wrong. So on your five inch seat, your five inch side, on either, you know, two sides, either two, it doesn't matter. If you want it to be symmetrical for mine, pick the same two, which means, you know, pick the the either the, the short piece of focus fabric side to start each time or or the long. But if you don't care, then it doesn't really matter. Just, just do two opposite sides. Opposite sides, yeah. Yeah. And so for yours, you're just gonna pick two opposite sides. Right. You've got it easy. So on those two, press out to the black. So on the other two, boom, you're done. I'll be ours will be done. Yeah. <laughs> we will have another step. But we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so we're back. Now for you lazy people that made <laughs> the one block. Let's finish this puppy I up. know, you know what, ours is done. But you know what, I'm not trying to discourage you from doing the other because I'm going to do one of each and it, a quilt would be really cool with both in it. I know, that's so. actually why we did both because we, between us, we asked 
We asked several people. We asked my daughter, we asked another sister, and everyone said, I like them both. Yes. That's why we ended up doing both blocks. So, so okay. this one, if you are your measurements worked out perfect along the way, you should have like an extra eighth of an inch all the way around. You should have plenty to do your trim up, and it doesn't have to be you don't have to do it straight. It doesn't have to be straight. It might be straight, but it doesn't have to be straight. Right. You can do, you yes. can like, um, like you could, you could wonkyize it yeah. somehow. There might, you might not have enough um, for a, a very wonky, but just make it fit in there. Yeah, make it fit and watch, and watch those last seams. That's, that's the part where, where you need to make sure you don't accidentally cut something off. Okay. <laughs> that, you know, trim it to the wrong size. Okay. So now. For those of us doing the small version, our, all of our agonizing, <laughs> after after we went away, I did recalculate. Okay, so now actually you have plenty. Each of these sub blocks are like seven inches, which gives you a lot. way <laughs> too much extra. So I would I would seriously ask you probably to go and and look at them under a square up ruler and 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 cut them down to uh, six, and three, six and three quarter at the most yeah. because because seven inches is going to give you a very wide um, center center part um you can see when i made this one you know i did trim them down so so you really want them to be around six and three quarters if you did, if you have generous seams, you're fine, uh, you know, and if you watch this video all the way through before you start sewing, which is probably a good idea. It's a, usually a good idea because we kind of ramble on, but um, uh, you have plenty of extra. So now we are going to take these and the only tricky thing is however you want to lay them out, that's up to you. You can do it however you want. Um, I have done two different versions i only have one up here to show so this one i i kind of um if you kind of look at these and think of the center part almost like a letter p um i i did two in and two out on this one just because i'm very i like symmetrical i've done one where all of the the tail of the peas faced in um you can do however um the only the only thing that that might be helpful for for you as um, as you're going into deciding how to sew this is um, generally you you don't have a lot of cross seams but you do want to maybe look at how you're how you're lining these up and depending on the last seam you put on if you have a long like here's a long seam and if all my long seams face each other I won't have any cross seams until the very end. And then just that center seam, I'll, I'll um, make sure that they go opposite ways. Uh, so if I do, so if I have a long seam on each, then then I'll make sure one presses this way and one presses that way. And then it's easy. And then it's easy. Yeah. But otherwise, uh, you may if you if you look at that before you do the pressing after you sew, say two and two together, just look at that, see how they go. If if you have the short seams in. Then you may encounter some and um, press just just press them different. Just yeah. just go back and repress them, and because it, it really is not worth fighting against trying to nest those seams. They really don't want to have them pressed the same way facing each other. Right. right. Okay. So so for ours, what we're going to do, you're going to sew. You're going to you're going to look at your layout, decide how you want it. You're going to sew two and two, and then. Do that final pressing, and we're going to sew the final center seam together, right? Right. Yep. And all in one and step. That, and all, yeah, we're going to do it all in one step, and then we'll come back. Now, remember, you have got a lot, it, even if you trim it down to six and three quarters, you have got plenty of seam allowance. Right. So don't worry. So you, if you're less, you're probably okay too, right? Uh, yeah, only if you're less, you're going to just have more black in the center. Between six and a, no less than six and a half. Yeah, yeah. If, if your blocks, all right, my blocks measure seven inches right now. And if yours measure less than six and a half, I mean, that's a half inch off. Let's <laughs> hope not, right? Considering I gave you measurements all the way through, if you were off by a half, 
that and much. And if you look at the written, for sure. Yeah, and if you are off that much, you really need to check what you're sewing. But, <laughs> so, square them down to six and a half would be the smallest. If you have a very accurate seam allowance, you can do that. The problem is, where I what I want you to do is, I kind of want you to have a little extra, because on this block at the end, I did not cut mine straight. As you can see here, I, I deliberately tilted it. This black is narrower, this is wider. You know, you if you want to have it a very straight, symmetrical block, cut them down yes. to six and a half. If you want to have room to mess with how that layout is, right. then, then leave them at six and three quarters. You can leave them at seven. It's just gonna be a wider black area in the center. And that's okay, okay too. That's okay, it's okay. Don't, don't resew it. Okay, <laughs> all right, so we'll be back with our put together block and I, I'm not gonna trim it, but I'm gonna bring the, the square up ruler and show you how it looks, okay? Okay, we're back. So Shelly, did you square yours up? I did and it looked kind of the same because it's, you know, it wasn't that you much. Didn't have, you didn't have that much extra. You didn't have much extra, so. Okay, so now um, I, I did, I looked at each of my little sub blocks and I did not trim them to six and three quarters, but I took off anything, any edges that were over seven, okay, which is what I would really caution you to do. Um, so as you can see, I have quite a bit extra all around and I can, I, if I want to, I can, I can do, um, like this and have a big super wonk, super wonk. Yeah. <laughs> The only, the only thing like we've cautioned you before, when you make them wonky, don't, don't leave a little bit that's less than like a quarter inch of anything or else oh, yeah. you won't have, you, Hard won't, to sew. you won't have an edge. Well, you yeah. won't have like a black edge there. Um, and to be honest, if you're, if you're turning it in um, for the drawing with the guild, which I hope we have these, by January. Um, by January. <laughs> I mean, this, this block is not due, it's, the, it's not due till January because December meeting, we don't have a normal meeting. Right. So if you're turning it in, they would be due in January. Um, anyway, if you, if you leave less than a quarter inch, then, then that kind of goes away. Uh, and what I was gonna say is that if you want, you can, if it's oversized, you can, and it's for the drawing. You can leave it oversized, right. and the and the person who wins then them can trim them down to how they they like. want it. Yeah, That's which it, which is sometimes nice. Sometimes some people look at that as like extra work, but yeah. I think most of the quilters would rather have that option. Yeah. Um, okay, so a couple of housekeeping things. Um, obviously, we film these in advance, so. Hopefully everything with COVID is fine. And we are meeting in January. Uh, I'm not super optimistic at this point, and right. maybe I'm just, we will have a vaccination by then and everybody will be fine. Yes. But, but we are filming this a few months ahead. And um, right now we would not be meeting. So whatever. Um, we, we plan on doing blocks for next year. We already have a focus fabric picked out. So if you do it on your own or whatever, be thinking for next year, think of what your focus fabric. Do we have any blocks planned? No. <laughs> we will get there. That's oh, optimistic. <laughs> I, know. I know, but hey, we got this year all done. I so, know. Because we have one more block and we're gonna talk about that in just a second. Um, the other thing is, um, if, you are using this focus fabric and you're short and you are a guild member you can contact us through the guild through um the roster in the guild and we can get you extra fabric right. at this point we still have focus fabric available right. if you need it and we hope um, you're sewing yeah um yes. let's hope you're sewing and um and healthy and yes yeah, and um, I mean, holy cow, I've done so much sewing lately. <laughs> uh, I finished, I quilted three quilts since our last video. I know. Have I bound them yet? No, but I have quilted. Well, I guess two of them. One of them I had done before, which is the, oh. the one that oh, was up there, right? True. Okay, I still haven't bound it. Um, okay, so um, 
The other thing I wanted to mention, now Shelly has talked about this a couple of times. This is her, her infamous last block <laughs> of the year. Uh, infamous. Which was, okay. Which was save all your scraps. Well, she, find, she did, and, it, and it's a pretty simple block when you get to it. But trust me, save all your scraps. As long as it's a, 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 an inch or three quarters of an inch square even, you can you possibly, can possibly use it. To be honest, I had I had some strips of focus fabric because I've made my my block to show you guys before we sew one live, um, and they were they were not even a half inch wide. They were a half inch wide. Yes. They they were a half inch, and and I did very scant seams on them. I did like quarter inch, eighth inch seams, and it looks. It, it looks great. I, I, I love this little, th I have these little hints of focus, focus fabric just appearing through it. And I love it, Shelly. That I was, a, it's, a, it's a nice block. And, and it's a good one for the last because you should have some scraps. And it's all especially colors. Especially after this. Every you know. color that you have, you might need more than your scraps, but totally hope you have your scraps. Yeah, and, and, and the other thing about this is that, so, so I even used on this one, and we'll talk about that next month, I don't wanna talk about too much ahead, but even of, my, even of my coordinating fabric, I went through and I found the scraps and I found enough of one to use. Right. And that's all you need. You, right. you really should be able to use the scraps. And, and to make out, to make this whole, like when you're making a whole quilt for the year, this is a nice block to use up a lot of stuff on for the right. whole thing. I, I, I'm kind of, yeah. Anyway, I'm excited about this block and that's for next month. So I'm not gonna talk about it too much okay. now. We'll talk about it then. Save your scraps. Save that's your scraps. That's, that's the message. That's the thing. And, and, and triangles, you know. Oh, yeah. We didn't do a lot of triangles this year. I, I, our, um, our first block of the year, this one, this is the one, mainly the only one we had triangles in. I know, in. It. isn't that crazy? But I think um, Shelly and I had messed up at first. Yes. Oh, you know what? Shelly, this one has a triangle. Oh, it does. So, okay. you know. Oh, and, and then we used up some on this one. I know. Anyway. Yes. Triangles work out good. Everything works out good. Yes. So, um, it, it's a very easy block, but save your scraps. Okay. <laughs> so, um, thank you all, and we will see you, you back did. in another month.